Hello guys! This is Assignment Experts channel and today let's talk about limits where the function is represented as a fraction of polynomials. Just like this one. And also when x tends to infinity. Keep in mind that polynomial is just a combination of powered variables and numbers, nothing else. First of all, if we will try to substitute infinity into our function right away, we will get infinity over infinity. So here we need to use another approach. To solve such limit, we need to find x with the highest power, and depending on where it is situated, we get different results. As we can see, in our case, the highest power is over here, 4x raised to the fifth power. In cases like this, when the highest power is above the line, our limit equals infinity, always. Now, if we'll substitute x raised to the fifth power by x cubed, then the highest power is over here, negative 2x raised to the fourth power. In this case, when the highest power of x is below the line, our limit gives us 0. And now the last case. If, for example, we'll have x raised to the fourth power over here, then we have equal highest powers, x raised to the fourth power. In this case, our limit is a constant number. And it is equal to the ratio of coefficients in front of variables with these highest powers. In our case, we have 4 and negative 2. So limit equals 4 over negative 2 and equals negative 2. That's it, guys. This is very simple. Just remember, you need to look for the highest power of x. If it is above the line, you get infinity. If it's below the line, you get 0. And if highest powers above and below the line are equal, then you get a constant number. Remember this, as your teachers often use these tasks in tests, even in the finals. So now let's have a look at some practical examples. Alright guys, so here's our first example. As I said earlier, we need to search for the highest power of x. In this example, the highest power is over here, x cubed. It is above the line, therefore the result will be infinity. However, let's see how it works. So first of all, we need to divide numerator and denominator by these highest power. We get limit of x cubed plus 5x squared plus 1 over x cubed and in the denominator we have x squared over x cubed. This is for x tends to infinity. Now let's divide each term. We get limit of 1 plus 5 over x plus 1 over x cubed and in the denominator we get 1 over x while x tends to infinity. Now let's have a closer look at this fraction. These terms with x in the denominator tend to 0 because x tends to infinity. Therefore, we'll get 1 over 0. But here, pay attention. This 0 doesn't mean the division by 0. This is actually the infinitesimal number. Therefore, the result of this division will be infinity. This is how it works, guys. Now let's have a look at the second example. Again, we search for the highest power of x. In this case, it is over here, x raised to the fifth power. It is in the denominator, so we get zero. But let's see how this works. For that, again, we will divide numerator and denominator by the highest power of x. So, we get limit of x raised to the 4th power plus 10x minus 5 over x raised to the 5th power. That's our numerator. 
And in the denominator, we have x raised to the fifth power over x raised to the fifth power, while x tends to infinity. Again, we divide each term, and we get limit of 1 over x plus 10 over x raised to the fourth power minus 5 over x raised to the fifth power. And in the denominator, we have just 1. This is for x tends to infinity. Now, let's see. We have x in the denominator in these three terms, and x tends to infinity. Therefore, they are all equal to 0, or at least tend to 0. So we get 0 over 1. And this gives us just 0. Here's our answer, guys. So this is our last example for today. Let's have a closer look at our function. In the numerator, we have x cubed. And in the denominator, we have also x cubed. So as you can see, we have equal highest powers of x. This means that this is the third example of the introduction video. And we will get a constant number. Let's see how we get it. So, first of all, we'll divide numerator and denominator by the highest power, x cubed. So, we get limit of 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 5 over x cubed. And in the denominator, we have 1 plus x plus 3x squared minus x cubed over x cubed for x tends to infinity. Again, we divide each term and get the following. Limit of 4 plus 5 over x minus 3 over x squared minus 5 over x cubed. And in the denominator, we have 1 over x cubed plus 1 over x squared plus 3 over x minus 1, while x tends to infinity. So again, we obtained a lot of terms with x in the denominator, and x tends to infinity. Therefore, all these terms tend to 0, and we have only 4 and negative 1. So this is equal to 4 over negative 1, which gives us negative 4. And this is the answer, guys. It demonstrates the last example when we get a constant number. Thanks for watching us. See you soon.